Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here. In today's video, we're gonna rip open some stuff, not just Amiibo, but also some World of Nintendo figurines. And so, hey, let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight on into it. We don't have time to just sit around and look at boxes. And so the first one is Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Maker Amiibo. This might look similar to the other one that I just unboxed and opened and featured in the last haul video, but this is the classic color Mario. The other one was the modern color. And they both do the same thing. You get a super mushroom, you can walk through blocks in Super Mario Maker. So let's just rip him open like that. Come on, Mario, get out of there. Oh, okay, okay, very good. So he looks exactly the same as the other Mario. He's just a different color palette. Everything else is exactly the same. Now we got Captain Olimar with his Pikmin. And Summer actually picked this out. And kudos to her because we were in Walmart and I was like, yeah, they don't got nothing here. And she's like, I was like, oh, you got a good eye for Amiibo. Spotted Olimar down there in the corner trying to hide. But we found him, couldn't hide from us. So I was pumped to see Captain Olimar because I've never seen him anywhere before, like in any store. And uh, pretty good looking Amiibo. Plastic little uh, helmet going on there. This little antenna can move back and forth. I hope that doesn't like tear off um, somehow. The Pikmin are pretty stiff. Um, they don't bend too much and they're not held on by a lot. So this might be an amiibo you have to be a little bit more careful about. Don't give this to like your one year old niece or something so she can rip off the red Pikmin and eat it or something like that. <laughs> but still a really nice looking amiibo. And so this is actually from Toys R Us. It's World of Nintendo and it's Samus in her gravity suit. And Samus is a girl, for all of you who had no idea. Um, this is the Series 1, and they actually have a bunch of different things. They have Tanuki Mario, Shy Guy, Fire Luigi, Gravity Suit Samus, and Link. The only other one that I saw in Toys R Us was Tanuki Mario, and I was just like, nah, whatever. Um, the Gravity Suit Samus definitely looked a lot cooler. And Aaron Stapish from Retro Liberty actually featured this. Um, I think on his Facebook or something like a week or so ago. I think he said Ricky got it for him and I was like, man, that's pretty cool. I wish I could have it. And then what do you know, a week later I find it at Toys R Us. And so let's rip it open. You get Samus. Get out of here, Samus. I probably shouldn't yank on the arm like that. Let's take this out methodically. Here we go. Come on. The microphone loves that creaking plastic. So here we go, 14 points of action. I was looking for the box, but I remember it saying there's 14 points of action here. So Samus can do all kinds of things. She can wave hello to the beautiful people of YouTube. She can fire her blaster cannon. What is that thing called? Um, turn her head, bend at the knees, bend at the, the feet, they feet bend. They rotate, they don't bend though. So pretty cool. Now you guys, I might run into an issue because this was a Toys R Us. She's like doing like sidestepping like salsa dancing. Uh, this was a Toys R Us. They have a lot of other Nintendo stuff there and I had no idea they had this much Nintendo stuff. Might not be the best thing for my wallet, but at least now I know where to go if I want to get something other than just Amiibo because you know I like stuff other than Amiibo. Amiibo is just something I like to collect. Uh, so if you guys have a Toys R Us near you and you're saying, where can I get some Nintendo stuff? Check out your Toys R Us, because who knows what you might find there. And Summer actually found something that she really liked. We went to see Star Wars The Force Awakened, and she surprisingly liked it. She even told me, she's like, I'm surprised. That was actually a pretty good movie. And I was like, you thought it wasn't going to be? But she found BB-8 Funko Pop. And uh, we're not going to start collecting Funko Pop, because there's like 5,000 of them. But uh, she really liked this BB-8. And I said about getting the BB-8 Sphero toy, but that thing's like $140. Maybe some other time, but not anytime soon. So this Funko Pop, he's not really much of a bobble head. His head bobbles a little bit, but not much. But it's still pretty cool to have a BB-8 sitting around the house. And so that's pretty much all I have for this video, you guys. We got the Super Mario 30th Anniversary Classic Color Mario for Super Mario Maker. We got Captain Olimar Amiibo. We got random gravity suit Samus who's just chilling out and doing whatever. And we got our good friend BB-8 from Star Wars The Force Awaken uh, Awakened? What? Star Wars Force Awakened. Wait, no. Star Wars The Force Awakens. Is that the title? I think it is, yeah. Please don't hate me. And so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, 
hit that thumbs up button, and of course, leave a thumbs up for BB-8, if anything. And let me know what you guys think about this nice little mini haul. You know, not just Amiibo, all kinds of stuff. And let me know if you wanna see more videos like this, and make sure you stay subscribed for other videos here on the channel. Make sure you check out all my social links, they're all down in the description below. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. You guys, before I stop the video, I just turned the camera off and I was like, wait a minute, there's a secret surprise with this Samus. And I pretty much have an idea what it is, but they include a little box with a secret accessory. What could it ever be? Oh, you guys, look. Come on, box. It's a morph ball. I actually knew this is what it was because Aaron showed it on his video, but I almost completely forgot to show it to you guys. But yeah, you get a little Samus morph ball with your gravity suit Samus. How could I almost forget? Wouldn't it be awesome if somehow the stars could align and Nintendo and Disney could become friends for a day and record part of like Star Wars with Samus showing up as a bounty hunter? Wouldn't that just be like the most awesome thing ever?